How am I supposed to get the concept of empathy and the empathy superpower challenge across to an audience of young people in the year 2022? I just, I'm at a loss. Wait, I've got it. Early 90s conscious hip hop. Enjoy some peace and if you drop anything on the floor, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, help a little old lady across the road. Hey, I'm not old. Who cares? Let's go. Sorry about that. So, uh, hi, I'm Ben. Uh, you join me on uh, my empathy walk. Uh, as you might be able to see from uh, the clothes I'm wearing, I'm actually a postman as well as being an author. And now, I, I can't say this for certain, but I am pretty confident that none of the other authors in the collection are also postmen. So, you know, that sort of sets me out to begin with. And I, therefore, conduct empathy walks five days a week, every week. And, you know, people might say to you, well, it's just delivering letters and parcels. What's empathetic about that? To those people, I say, shut your face. I don't really, because I'm empathetic. But what I actually say is it actually requires an enormous amount of empathy, this job. Uh, for one thing, you, you need a base level of empathy not to trample people's gardens and their flowers and, you know, kick their dog, unless the dog starts it. Second of all, you have to be aware that the things you're delivering could be life-changing to people. They could be bringing incredible good news. They could be bringing horrible bad news. You just don't know what you're putting through people's doors. So you have to be mindful of that. Um, you know, we also deliver pizza leaflets as well. That's, they're not quite so life-changing, really. They, um, I mean, if you, if you want a good deal on a, on a pepperoni, 12-inch pepperoni, that, that could be life-changing, but generally they're not. But what I'm trying to say is, we are delivering important information and we have to be mindful of that and to uh, always greet people with a smile always be friendly to people at the door even if they don't return that friendliness most people do but even if they don't you know you don't know what they're going through so uh, always be kind always be nice to people another thing that uh, that happens a lot in this job is that you will come into contact with people often it's older people who live alone and they will want to stop and have a chat with you because in some cases sadly they might not have had a chat with anyone for days um, and so I always make time to talk to those people because, you know, you're not just going to carry on walking, are you? And they're often, you know, they're always very nice and friendly. They'll ask you about your day. They'll, they'll tell you things. You know, people tell you things as a postman. You'll be surprised the things people tell you. Often, you know, it can be quite personal stuff. But I think some people, just find it, it, it helps them to, uh, to talk about it, even if it is just to some idiot uh, in a red fleece. You know, it does help those people. And I'm always, I always make time for people, even if I'm busy. And we all do, I think we all do, as, as, uh, as post people. You are sort of, more so, I'm not just saying this, because that's what I work for, but I think more so than some of the other couriers, I think we're still very much part of the fabric of the, uh, the community. And as such, we're required to have empathy for people. So I hope you've enjoyed my empathy walk. Uh, as I say, I like to think I have a unique angle on it, being a postman slash author. And I found, as well as the empathy angle, I, have, I find the job enormously inspiring. I've come up with my best book ideas at work, walking, 
walking the streets. <laughs> so uh, it's not as bad as you might think. Uh, so thank you. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure and it's been fantastic to be part of the, uh, the Empathy Lab experience. I'll be Med Davis. Thanks. Bye-bye.